following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industries up 201. NASDAQ up 65, S&P's up 23, gold contract down $6.60, trading at $12.91 an ounce. We have silver down 12 cents, $14.69 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $63 flat. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note down 10 ticks, 124.11. 30-year bond off 14 at 149.13. And king dollar, king dollar up 194 ticks, trading 97.570. The euro is at 111 to 1 US dollar. The yen is out here at 109.84. And the pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. And uh, this little market, man, got a nice little uh, pop uh, right on that open, huh? Not bad. Yeah. Big one. Big time. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks of TD Ameritrade. Think of swimmers as you do each Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you want to get a great show, understand options, option strategies, futures, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test-driven yet, the Think of Swim platform, it's real easy to do. As you're at TFNN, just hit that banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Hey. Uh, hey, it sounds like everything's everything's good again, right? Now spring, I mean, spring, we spring is back. We get data, and everything's fine. We had a rainstorm, and spring is back, That's right? right? <laughs> Pretty amazing, isn't it? You know, uh, Walmart. Let's talk about Walmart yeah. for a second. Yeah. This thing is a behemoth, right? But, you know, they're a behemoth, guys, that act like they're still a small growing company because they they are the most willing to change for a company their size it's really quite incredible it what is. they're doing but think about it people were concerned earlier in the week because they thought the switch to uh you know one day delivery might cost them 200 and some million dollars well their revenue for the quarter was a hundred and twenty four billion dollars oh for the quarter. Staggering, yeah. So we tried to explain to our viewers yesterday that two hundred and, and whatever, two hundred and change million dollars, that's a rounding error wow. for this company. Yep. And you see the size of what they can offer to people. It's it's pretty amazing. But all that being said, three point four percent comparable sales, pretty impressive for Walmart. Oh. Yeah. I listen. Comp it, sales it, always blow me away. It's, how. It's, it's particularly because you know you, you're talking like, like the company's so big, right? And that you see that that digital sales increased by 37 yeah, percent. Web sales. Yeah, 37 percent e-commerce. That's amazing. It it's, is. It really, it really is. And amazing. they talked about the groceries, right? In terms of that's a huge market, and they're really doing yeah. well on that. I mean, they yeah. they kind of crushed it. Yeah. They and you know depending whether they you know you go there or not, folks. I can tell you, like I go there for. Fishing and sporting goods. I mean, it's so inexpensive. It's crazy, man. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's not like I shop there all the time. But I tell you, I can't. I started, I don't know, what, about 10 years ago. Every time I go for some fishing gear, because there's so much spread on fishing sure. gear. Do you know what I mean? And it's like all of a sudden, you know, you can go to a fishing store down here in Florida, and, you know, a nice reel and rod is, you know, maybe two or $300. You go there, and the same thing is like 30 percent less well they also right. said they're going to be able to pass on those tariffs to you so you better watch those prices oh i no, no. i listen i that's you know that's that's good that's that's in the money i was no telling you tom and tommy where the, where they are crushing people is in groceries yeah i mean you go in there and and shop and you look at your normal grocery bill from wherever is your local grocery store you go to walmart it is significantly lower. Right. Yeah. It's, right. it's pretty yeah. impressive on, on some of the numbers. So, um, hey, they, 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 they got me going there. No, well, the you know what they have? So they, they have, a, you know, they have the big Walmart stores, but they got a, a small one around here, too, that was well, small for them. And what I always found is that, you know, they're open 24 hours. And so at the grocery part of it, I, they're, the amount of grocery, the, the amount of fruits they have is not as big as some stores, but what they have, 
they go through so much of it, it's always fresh. Sure. You know what right. I mean? And, yeah. and it's in the boxes, and you can just see it. It just goes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's pretty cool, man. I mean, yeah, and really, I think, I personally think that their biggest hurdle is they have an identity problem. Yeah. You know, everyone thinks of Walmart, and they don't think of it like, you know, they're selling the same groceries that any large grocery chain is selling, and they're selling them for lower prices, right? right? No one can touch their scale and their margins. And think about it. If you compare them to Target or Costco or, uh, of course, Amazon, you know, Costco and Amazon, they're memberships. They have memberships fees that, that you have to pay. So... Walmart is doing this without the membership fee, and now you know their click and pick up uh, b- business is starting to flourish. You know, this is a company that's just, you know, their willingness to be lean and agile is really impressive to me. No, there's no doubt. You know, it's really crazy when you just brought the grocery pot. Is that when you go in there? Let's say you're just buying a bottle of water or something, right? You get a six pack for what you buy in one at like a 7 Eleven. Well, the bottle of water <laughs> yeah. deal, that's a, that's a perplexing <laughs> it, it, situation it is, overall, anyway, in I terms know. of you buy one bottle of water at 7 Eleven, it's a buck 49. Yeah. And we all know, right? right? It's like, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it, it's just, but here's the thing, guys. You look at this market today, all the three numbers the housing starts, jobless yeah. claims, and uh, Philly Fed. Yep. All good, solid numbers. There's nothing there in the data to get in the way of this market. Um, we seem to have you know, re- recovered. People are starting to understand the long game in terms of China trade, and this is going to take longer than everyone thought, and people seem okay with that. You know? Yeah, the, market, it's, the market's a trip, man. It just it yeah. seems to look at it. Okay, I'm going to shake this off, man. I mean, <laughs> they like that delay of the auto tariffs yesterday. That oh, was, yeah. That yes. was a big uh, yeah. indication. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, I agree with that, Tommy. I think that was, well, you saw the almost immediate reaction right, right when that happened. And so, you know, Trump goes hard on one thing and he eases up on another. And, you know, I, I give it to him. He's got, his, he's got his hands in a lot of different things. And, uh, well, he has know, 10 hands, Kevin. <laughs> you know, he is, he, he's not afraid to be unpopular. I'll give him that. Uh, hey, you know, he, he, is, he is not afraid to do things that either negatively or positively affect the market. Yeah, so the, I mean, the VIX got crushed pretty quick. So I guess the, yeah. VIX, the VIX was right yesterday, right? We were talking you about know, that. Like, okay, we were, they weren't pushing think, that up. Yeah. I think our discussion that we've had, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, why it didn't go up as much as we thought, why it was getting, you know, I thought that aged pretty well, Yeah, that, that discussion, Definitely. because now here we sit and VIX is 15 and a half. That's right. pretty incredible. No, there's, there's no doubt, man. But remember, it's that seasonal gravity that's on VIX right now because of, the, uh, because of where we are on the calendar. And there's, it takes major inertia to get this up there. And, you know, 17, 18, 19, where it was, that takes a lot of inertia to keep no, it up there. Memorial Day weekend, eight days away, man, Friday. Exactly. Boom. Yeah. Watch out. you got to love it. Seriously. Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, you, you want to understand these strategies, folks. They're outstanding strategies every trading day. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great weekend, man. We look forward to speaking to next Tuesday. Thanks for having me on, guys. Always a pleasure. Thanks, Thank Kevin. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 194. NASDAQ is up 68. S&P is up 23. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 207. Nasdaq's up 77. S&Ps are up 25. And, yeah, we were just looking at the uh, the differential between the Walmart and uh, Amazon. Because I'm pretty intrigued. I mean, nobody can compete with Amazon, not even close right now. Right. Smart people for a while have been saying if there's one company, it might be Walmart. Um, their earnings look like they're doing well in that direction. And so getting into the numbers, right, it's interesting. So their P.E., 21, right? Yeah. 21 right. times earnings. Um not that bad. Probably you were saying maybe the S&P average is 16, 17. Definitely above right. the average, as it should be, because they're growing and they might have an online presence. Uh, when you get into the revenue, man, and we're going to jump to Amazon next. Um, just staggering, man. And even um, now Walmart was, I believe, we'll go back $297 billion. Oh, is that going to push us? $297 billion? Yeah, 296 for the company. Amazon, $950 billion. So it's amazing that they're more than three times the size of a company like Walmart. Right. But Walmart taking in over a half billion dollars a year. Half trillion, right? Half trillion, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, so we'll jump to Amazon. Now we said Amazon, $950 billion. Let's see. Uh, so they're taking in 275 Of course, the growth staggering, though, right? right. You, had, you had Walmart at 500 Then I think it was like 508 512 Right. Um, Versus they, they're going from 177 to 323 in the span of three years. Um, and when you get into their market cap and PE, you're looking at 941. And a lot of that having to do with, of course, the 84 PE because they're growing. I mean, right. Walmart does not have the Amazon cloud service. Now, right. they're going to have their own set of servers, I'm sure. But they're not going to be making that type of, of cashola. Um, it's pretty wild. It man. is pretty wild. Just intriguing. But, you know... Um, I was saying, you know, for example, if a company like Walmart comes to you, I say, right, they say, we made a million dollars last year. Would you buy the whole company for 20 million? Geez, I think they're really going to keep growing. That's not that bad, as in the 20 PE. Right. Um, but the key there, if they keep growing, you got to keep competing with Amazon. But they, same day or they, next day delivery. They've been steady. Yeah, growing the grocery business, growing e-commerce. Well, they say 35%. Um, and as a consumer, I'm kind of excited because... Now you just got to go to Amazon. As in, you know, you're oh. on the internet, what do you do, right? You go to Amazon. Oh, you need, I'd love for there to you, be a you Walmart. Need, that's, you need competition. Right, then. you know, and then yeah. Amazon says, man, we, we, we have to be on top of everything for price because right. people are just going to start 
pulling up because if you can get something from Walmart next day free, and you get something from Amazon next day free, you better beat on price because gonna everybody is going to do a right. one two check. No doubt. Um, and that'd no be great doubt. for consumers. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the, uh, see what kind of strength we get in here because it's intriguing. So, first we'll do, look at the, uh, the Dow Industrials. Uh, putting strength into it, you got Walmart, there you go. Walmart putting 25 points, Boeing 21, Microsoft 20. Only one taken away from it, Apple, a negative 11 points, uh, Chevron 9, and Dow DuPont 20. What is Boeing doing in the positive there? No. Yeah, and The totally. stories just don't stop. Now, the NDX, this is what's going to get interesting. Let me Because I saw Xilinx in here getting smoked. Man. Yes, down 4.4%. Uh, you got Skyworks down 5.5%. Oh, I see. This is because of the uh, emergency declaration of the IT. That, okay. Because what's going to happen is that these chip companies will get smoked because... Question: They're not going to be able to sell the Huawei, and that is a monster. That's a monster customer of theirs. Okay. Uh, let me see Qualcomm. That's what this is. This is going to get intriguing, folks, because what I've seen. Okay, that's still a good-looking stock. Uh, X. Oh yeah. Man they X. just they just won they the, just the won. lottery versus Apple. Yeah. <laughs> now Xilinx, different ball game, man. Look uh, at that rebound though off those lows. Yeah. Man. No, no, big time. It went to 104, and I was at 109.60. Um, Maybe they're looking for a delay of some tariffs too, or, or national it's, emergency. It's, it's uh, the it's the what what, it, what it happens is Huawei. I mean, it's the largest you know one of the largest buyers out there of chips in the world. Um, and the way that this uh, let's see if we can find it. the way that this order came in is that it's saying that uh, bottom line American companies cannot do business with them. Um, yeah, I mean, what is going to happen is that the next generation of uh, you know, 5G coming down the line. Yeah, so there it is yeah. right there. The White House uh, on Wednesday initiated a two-pronged assault in China, barring companies deemed a national security threat from selling to the U.S. and threatening to blacklist Huawei from buying essential components. And there you go. So it follows through. The move could cripple China's largest tech company, depress the business of American chip giants from Qcom to Micron. Um, yeah, you know, I was, I, was uh, I think I had mentioned a while back that... Uh, that, that Bloomberg show, what's it, Conversations, Peer Conversations, oh, yeah, yeah. Peer to Peer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they had the AT&T chairman on. I okay. forget his name as well. Yeah. It was a great uh, episode if anybody checks it out. And they asked about um, Huawei and the next generation of 5G. And he just made a great point, I thought, to say, listen, 5G, you're not even going to be able to imagine right now how much our lives are going to depend on 5G. Everything you have is going to be connected from self-driving cars yeah. to your coffee maker to your microwave. And if that technology is built on technology that you might not know to be secure, safe, et cetera, yeah. you better be asking who is putting that together. And I think it's a right. valid point. Um, wow. Yeah. Natural it's, gas. Natural right. gas, yeah. So it's Thursday. We get EIA numbers, 1030 Eastern time. Uh, let's pull up that natural gas. We've seen crude oil climb this morning, right? 6307. But jumping over to the commodities. We'll jump into that natural gas. Let's see where we start off in the 11 a.m. expiration. So natural gas trading at 261.1. Uh, we're looking at the June contract. Quite a little pop this morning. Not sure where. Uh, maybe that was 8:30. Is that housing? I don't know. Uh, was that Look jobs? That, is that 50, well, 59 to 63, back to 61. Right? I mean, four pennies. That's that's yeah. quite a pop. Oh yeah, big um, time for sure. Excuse me. Um, so we we're trading at 261.1. We get it's almost 10:25. We get the inventories at 10:30. Looking at what some exposure to the upside and downside might cost us on this one. We're going to have a little bit of a bullish bias, right? We got, and this isn't bad, I can already see it in terms of it's costing us $15 for the bullish spread, but of that 11 bucks is basically intrinsic value. So you're paying four tenths of a penny for the bullish one, and you're going to be paying a little bit more, so $21 or 2.1 pennies. What's nice is if you're bullish, you're already a penny in the upside. Yeah, right. Right? I mean, that's why I said not much premium at all. Um, even if you just want to make a bullish trade, you know, you're trading at 260, 2609, you're getting in at 2613, your losses are capped at 260, and you got exposure to 11. Let's see where the noons line up. Give yourself a little bit more time, maybe. 12 o'clock? Ah, that's a bummer. So those line up with only 265, and that's because we had natural gas up near Ooh, 265 yeah, right. when those would have gotten opened. But let's see where the dailies. Come on, give us a 260. There we go. So the dailies go till 2.30. Now, we always mention this. We have the 40-cent dailies here. Yeah. Just going to pull up it. But then if you go into the dailies here, you got 50 cents. And I know that they're always ticking 
Oh, look, they're, they're close, but they're not exactly. No, they're not. We got 264.3 on the bullish side, um, and I'm not willing to pay an extra two ticks because I'm okay with my profits being capped at $3. Right, um, yeah. So that's right. Oh, look, there we are, though. Now we're back. We got so there, there you go. And I thought they'd be the same. What probably happened is somebody took this five. Yeah. The market maker drops for a moment. Yeah. And then the market maker picks back up, right? Look at um, that exact number. Yeah. And it would make sense because there's no, there's probably one out of a thousand times maybe it's going to rise above three dollars, right? We, but so bullish side, and again, not bad. We're trading at two, two six one two, two sixty one two, and you're getting in at two sixty two one nine ticks. Um, let me set up the bearish one. As we go into the break, where are we? It's going to be nine ticks. So you're looking at thirty dollars for two thirty. We'll see what happens. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up two twenty nine, Nasdaq up ninety two, S and P's up twenty eight. Come right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale is here. From now through Memorial Day, you can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars never expire and can be used for any TFNN good or service. Whether you're a current subscriber looking to add instant savings or you're a new listener or viewer that is considering signing up for any product in the near future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars and lock in dramatic savings on all TFNN products and services. We only have a sale like this a couple times a year so don't let it pass you by tiger dollars are available in three purchase options with a 20 percent 30 percent and even 40 percent bonus once you purchase your tiger dollars you'll be able to apply them to your tfnn account and then they are automatically used for all your recurring subscriptions going forward making it as easy as possible for all the details on this tiger dollar promotion running through memorial day visit the front page of tfnn.com and get your tiger dollars before this sale passes you by the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas, pretty close to the estimate. Right? There you go, right? So we got a rise of 106 billion cubic feet. Looks like the median estimate was a rise of about 104. So a little bit more natural gas than they may have projected. And the contract on that news getting a bit of an uptick. Um, pretty close to the number. So we'll see where it shakes out. We had some volatility coming into that number, of course, we talked about. Made it as high as 263.3. 
currently trading 261.8. The good thing, if you're making any of these trades, they had a little bit of a bullish bias, right? Yes. You were going from about 260 at exposure each way. and a half in it, yeah. right? Yeah. And, um, so we'll see what happens, but natural gas right now trading 261.7. Pretty muted response on that. So uh, let's, uh, let's go into that oil market, too, and take a look at oil, because it's intriguing. You get oil definitely moving higher. It, that's up a full buck. Now, the volume's not huge out here today. Um, we'll see if it can get it going. You get 273,000 contracts right now. That being said, what's intriguing here is that, let's see why Chevron... The XLE is not moving. So you get Chevron lower, Exxon. Exxon's up slightly, but that's intriguing, man. I mean, because you got oil going, but they're not buying it inside, inside the uh, indice. Yeah, you're up 39 cents. Yeah. See what this baby uh, shakes out. The uh, if we get if we get into the spy now with with. What I'll be looking for out here today, folks, is that you, you, you got a bounce going. There's no doubt about that. Yesterday, you know, SPY's up at 320 right now. Yesterday, you did uh, 73 million shares. Uh, you, you're going into a monster. You're going to 103 and 144. So the real kicker is going to be, you know, how do we get into this uh, number we're at right now? 288.94. Um, and we'll see. If it's an ABC structure on the way down, you're going to see this contract again. You know, so we'll the see. The volume contract. The volume, yeah, exactly. You know, because you, you've, what is that? We've been down about nine days. You're up yep. three days now. And uh, that's, we want to look at these bonds, because the bonds have been the most consistent. Now let's get some volume on this baby today. That's already 887. So we're going to have some volume. But that being said, you're coming into like 1.8 million. But that, that should do like one, that could do that today pretty easy. We've had a busy like nine, ten days in terms of volume, right? In terms we have. of the markets, bonds, even oil. You yep. have a lot of fundamental news from tariffs, oh, yeah. trade concerns, right. um, the oil factor. We had the possible infrastructure problems. We had the possible um, ships getting attacked. It just there's, doesn't stop. There's, there's movement. Yeah. There's movement. Um, you know, Apple, Apple still's got a little problem here. Apple can't seem to get going. Uh, Google, man, Google took off yesterday after the uh, day before. Just couldn't handle. It. Look, it's still going. We got uh, yesterday. Look at this thing yesterday. We went from uh, eleven sixteen to eleven seventy one. Not so bad. It looks like it wants to try to attack where that gap is. Uh, eleven ninety two. We're there. I, it's, <laughs> yeah, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got five six no, bucks, it's, but it's, in the span it's, of an eleven hundred dollar stock, it's no right doubt. there. Uh, Amazon, Amazon's up 44 bucks. You know, if we go back to Walmart, I want to show you Walmart a second because Walmart has that spike high. That's what it's going after, right there. Okay. Look at that thing. I mean, it's uh, what is that? 104.38. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, I'm guessing that's going to be their last earnings. So that's literally almost uh, three months to the day. Yeah. That's February 19th. We're okay. on May 16th. So that's that's going to be their earnings. Um, yeah. And they must have been good earnings, right? They were, or they they announced something. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Going to be intriguing watching this whole thing shake out on this uh, bounce out here. There's no, no doubt about it. If we go, let's go overseas. Let's see the DAX, what the DAX has done. The DAX in Germany, okay, that's a real bounce. And, and that's hanging tough out there. So that's indicating that our markets will stay up. The FTSE, same deal. Uh, if we go over to Asia last night. DAX must have liked that news on the auto tariffs, right? Yes. In terms of, oh, yeah. Are you kidding? Right. European cars. And a right. lot of them get made here, too, but that's a big part. It is. They're big time. Shanghai. Yeah, BMW and Mercedes. Forget it, right? Yeah. And a lot of those do get made here, though. Yeah. Don't lose that in the... A lot of the BMWs. Yes, right. right. The, um, so the Shanghai, I won't have the volume yet from last night, because... Well, I do. Okay, so Shanghai did $24 billion. You're going into, oh, my God, 32 though. A decent number of shares traded. I know, man. It's crazy uh, how many shares you actually get traded. Uh, it, the government's probably trading 60% <laughs> of them. Sure. I mean, and they, they have no qualms about coming in the middle of the day and no. letting everyone know that, okay, we're 
not going to let this go down this far. Sure. You know, sometimes so. they just come right out and say it, actually. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, gold. Let's go take a look at that gold contract. So, um, you know, percentage wise, it's not a lot, but uh, they're hitting us. Oh, 650, it's not bad. So, we're down to 650. You got uh, 166,000 contracts. Okay, you're going into uh, 379, though. We'll do two something. We're not, we won't do 379. 12. 82 is the number you're going into. It's only 1030. We never know. There could be a tweet or something, man. Oh, there, Have some faith there, in the, in, in the there's, day. There's <laughs> no, no. I, I, they, so silver. Let's go to silver. So, silver has been the laggard dragging this baby down for so long. It's crazy. 32,000 contracts. Can't hold price. 1460. Okay, so that's the low of May 3rd. I just wanted to yeah. see what that low is beneath it. 1457. So right next, but yeah, yeah. yeah, we're right there. Yeah. The low today was 1465. So, so. that's 85,000 contracts versus 32 right now. Hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Yeah. Uh, Want to check back in on natural gas yeah. real quick, see where we're trading at. Um, yeah, not too much action. The number was, uh, you know, 106. The expectation was 104. So if anything, it was slightly above expectation. I. Uh, See maybe a pullback, but we got a little pop about a penny to the upside. 2621 we're looking at. Here, I'll pull that right up on the chart. So, uh, and there we go. I'll take. Yep. So, 261. And this is going to be the delayed, which yeah. is why we're about, we're right. still at 2612 versus the news shot us up about a penny. Okay, so they pushed up there before you missed it. Yeah. I mean, it looks like, you know, this is down from 290, you know, a couple months ago. Had a low out here at the beginning of the month at uh, 240. Man, we got plenty of natural, we got plenty of natural gas. That's what that chart's saying, for <laughs> that's, sure. That's the bottom line. No, for sure. No two ways about that. What else we got going on uh, this week, next Tiger week? Tiger dollars, That's right? right, man. So we got our Tiger dollar sale. Uh, from Memorial Day, runs through May 27th. Pretty remarkable. I said to Kevin, day. eight I days know. the weekend starts. Now, this will run through May 27th. It's like 10, 11 days. Okay. But limited time, 40% bonus up to, depending on what you spend. If you're a current subscriber, no brainer, get some Tiger Dollars. You can either get, spend 500, you get 600. $100 bonus, 20%. You spend 1,000, get 1,300. So 300 extra Tiger Dollars for a 30% bonus. And you spend 1500 you get 2100 600 Tiger Dollars bonus, 40% on your purchase. And uh, those never ex expire, and they can be used for anything. You can just apply them once to your account when you make that purchase. Automatically used going forward. So I encourage people to check it out, whether you're a current subscriber, sign it up just through next weekend. And uh, we only do a couple next of these a year. Last one we did was uh, last December. So get in there. Get, it, 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 that is crazy. That's why I mentioned it. I know. I couldn't believe that myself. So on the front page, check it out. Get it done. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's up 223. Nasdaq up 97. S&P's up 29. Right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 246. You get the Nasdaq up 103. S&P's up 31. And uh, beyond meat. You want to uh, pull it up? Go this, for it. This, Quite a run, man. This it doesn't is, stop. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, you get the Uber and Lyfts of the world that didn't make it. And then you get the beyond meat that uh, went IPO, I believe. Was it $2? If, if you no, got it at 25 <laughs> but then it, it was, opened man? at 45 I think that's how it should go. Yeah, there you so go. Yep. 25 but you can see, First watch trade this. Was 45 yeah. yeah, right. And guess what, folks? We, right now, are at 94 You're still up more than 100% if you had just traded it at the open, right. which is staggering because it opened almost 100% in the positive. And, you know, you get, you get a confirmed ABC structure up, you know? I mean, most, uh, what happens, folks, is that when, you know, these things first come public. Technical analysis, you really, you, you can't Give read. Give it some time, You right? can't Give read these things, time, exactly. Yeah. But daily, you can see what's going oh, on yeah. here. It, it took out the B point, took it out with volume. It's like, it is what it is. And I was trying um, to pull up at the same time, um, because the impossible, right, which is like their competitor, I believe it is. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. So they, rightfully so, came out and raised money. Because they said, geez, man, this evaluation. Impossible Foods now 300 uh, series E funding. Yeah. Now, this is a few days ago, yeah, but on okay. the heels of this, right? So they're going to um, raise $300 million. Um, and this is the one. So despite rival Beyond Meat's explosive IPO, Impossible Foods CFO, saying that the company is not planning to go public at this point. But guess what? We're going to raise some more money. Um, now, let's see. Joined by more than a dozen individuals, and I believe this is the one, we're just saying it, that Bill Gates is an investor in the impossible one. And so you said you thought it was beyond. I thought yeah. kind of the same thing. They, I think it's because even the verbiage, impossible, beyond, they kind of sound the same. Um, well, we can go right into beyond and see who owns it. Let's see. Why? I think it's B-Y-N-D. Okay, yeah. so we get in here. Oh, yeah, and all these 13Fs were done yesterday, too. So. Kleiner Perkins. Yeah, that's the big oh, yeah. private equity. Yeah. Not bad. They got 13% of the whole company. Look at that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that the Impossible brand, which uh, they these. have a lot of burgers in different restaurants okay. already. Right. And I believe the Impossible, that might be uh, BK, Burger King, um, has their burger, I believe. Um, have you tried anything like that yet? I have had it once, yeah, yeah. and it's good. Really? Yeah. And was, does it taste like meat? Doesn't taste no. like a. Okay. I mean, well, <laughs> what are you, what are you there? I said it's good. It's not right. a hamburger. I'm just, you know, there's right. nothing quite like a hamburger to right. put. That's right. why I'm 
Right. You know. So yeah, you can't tell the difference. Well, you can tell the difference, right? Okay. A hamburger is pretty damn delicious. Right. So. <laughs> right. right. Uh, but it's good, man. You don't you don't feel like you're eating something fake, and you know it's delicious okay. in, in its own right. Well, that's yeah. that, that's gonna be a big deal. I, what is it made out of? Do you know? I think they use beet juice or something. Beets. That's that's where you get that's the, the blood. <laughs> that's where you get some consistency, maybe well, beet, something like that. Beets are good for you yeah, too. Yeah. Right. Right. So you you get. Uh, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Yeah. Beyond that. Ah, ah. Mm. Ah, no pun intended. Actually, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, on. so let's uh, let's get over and take a look at that. XAU, the HUI, selling both of them down. Oh, that's not bad, though. It, okay, so we got a test of last week, which we, we actually need. Well, that's a test of Monday, which is good, because Monday was a, was a decent day. So Monday coming into 33 million. We won't get this till later. You can see it tried to go high yesterday at 21. That's not even close. Uh, to get high, the gold bugs index. This is okay. It's not a bad setup. We'll find out what the, the volumes. I always like it when you're coming back into the strength. Now, we, what we're going to need though is a rejection of price. This is no doubt has been on a one-way trip uh, down uh, since what? That's March 27th, right? Yeah. 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 I'm going to take a quick peek at natural gas again. I can't help but say maybe, maybe it's doing something. Where's my mouse? There it is. There we go. How about it? 263. Um, so still nothing too dramatic, but it did get action to the upside, which is where our bias kind of would have been coming into that. So the the noons were going to cost, the 11 a.m.s cost us about two pennies, 2.1, and I believe the 230s were costing us basically right where we are right now in terms of there's your 230. If you're able to sell it off, you're getting 31 bucks, and we're about that for both legs of it. Um, Prior to that news coming out, so we'll see. It looks like it wants to bust top side. It right sure now. does. We're right yeah. there. What is that high? Two sixty-three, thirty-five. So we're about two one thousandths of a dollar. Yeah. Uh, Let's go over to win. You know what? Just on the way in, you probably heard the same thing because we're both in the car at the same time about the. Uh, you get Disney open up. Uh, okay, I didn't yes. hear this one actually. So. Ah, uh, I did hear it actually. <laughs> I did. Okay. I did. Okay. Go ahead. Tell so the, yeah. you know, it's amazing, folks. So. You know, Disney, I mean, has been like the, what, the cleanest apple in the world. I mean, you know. I don't know. Don't they find all those images in their movies? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No? No. Oh, they have all these, like, no. uh, crazy, uh, basically sexual images that they've snuck into movies, whether it's them or people throughout the years. Oh. We'll, we'll bring that up on another show. I'm sure okay. some people know what I'm talking about. Go ahead, okay. though. Um, I do. So, They're big amusement park, kids' movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, right. so uh, ESPN, uh, yep. what has happened is that what Lee... It's legal to uh, bet on sports in 11 states right now. Okay, yeah. And ESPN has just opened a studio inside one of the major casinos. Yes, Caesars, I believe. Yeah, okay. So yeah. There's only and, one Caesars, man. Yeah, as in and like, so they're going to they're gonna blend this. Yeah, you and know? they already have another one, right? Bleacher Report, I believe, which is a big sports one they're saying. So now right. Caesars has two, basically, media right. sports geared, right. you know, um, literally media setups within their own casino. So... ESPN isn't taking bets, that's what they're saying, right. but they are getting into profiting from the gambling on sports. Right. Uh, yeah, because... What, what they're, they're the biggest sports network out there. What they're sports saying gambling's that, going, that people that watch sports like to gamble. Well, who? Do, I mean, if yeah, yeah, who else would? Yeah. I mean, as yeah. you know, if you don't like to watch sports, you're not going to be betting on it. Now, everybody watching sports isn't betting on it. But everybody betting on but the, sports but they'll, is they'll, watching it. They'll get them to bet. <laughs> oh, that's their goal, for sure. That's, that's, right? that's going to be the number. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. It sure is. So we'll see. And the wind's going to be opening up in Boston. And yeah, this, Everett, right? In Boston, folks, there's so many gamblers. It's unbelievable. You know what's happening, though? There's so many casinos going on yeah, out there. That totally. that's, I mean, you, you know, you're spending billions to open it. I was just up there last weekend. Yeah. And uh, people were talking about it, but man, they're spending billions and billions, and you got multiple casinos, and let alone you got the Foxwoods and the Mohegans still there that that are, you know, mammoth. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of casinos that need a lot of that action, but we'll see. No, I, I'm sure they're beautiful. Multiple billion. What's it? Two, two to three billion dollars. I think that win Encore. It's called Encore Boston, I believe right. is the name of right. it. Yeah. And it looks just like the Encore in Vegas. That makes right? sense, right? Yeah, right. No, no, right. So I was up there, and they're saying, "Ah, it's called the Encore." I said, "Are you sure there's an Encore in Vegas?" And they oh, yeah. think it's Encore Boston. That's right. The, yeah. Right. Yeah. And if you saw where this was, folks, okay, this is. Uh, these, I, I used to work at the VA hospital. Right? It's right at the VA hospital. Uh, that's where you, well, that's where it used to be in Everett. Okay. Everett. Do you know what I mean? And Everett is an old manufacturing town. 
So this is pretty dramatic how things can change over the course of time. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, in, in a big way. Dow Industrials. Dow is up 242. NASDAQ is up uh, 103. S&Ps are up 30. Percentage-wise, what we have out here, folks, you have the Dow Industrials up uh, 9 tenths of 1%. NASDAQ up 1.3. S&Ps up 1.1. Tommy, I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter with a focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow up 246, NASDAQ up 104, S&P's up 31. And, folks, if you come over to our website, at TFNN, you're going to see our man, Mr. Dave White. Uh, he's got a new version of timing the trade charts out. And That's we right. have a special uh, promotion that we're doing right now. That includes your book, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. So he's thing. put an update out there. Everything's moving at lightning speed, operating perfectly. So Dave wanted to have a little promotion. So you can use the promo code BOOK, B-O-O-K. You enter that at checkout, you'll save 25% off your first month, and we'll ship you a book for free. Just that simple. So when you get in there, you can sign up for a month, just as easy as, boom, you enter that promo code, add it, there's your savings right away. So you're saving almost 20 bucks, and uh, we'll ship you that book, hardcover. Keep that no matter what, no matter how long you subscribe. It's a great deal. I encourage people to check it out. And the best way to really do it, get your Tiger Dollars first, 
And then you use your target dollars. So you okay. save even more, man. Yeah, I mean, that's the way. That's why they're so great. You get a 40% bonus. You still save $20. So you still, I mean, just quite a savings deal. And both of those running through Memorial Day. So get it done. Memorial Day is right here. Eight man. days away, the weekend begins, man. Wow. Always nice to have a little long weekend. And checking back on natural gas, running right, right up to those highs. Two sixty three seventeen. We'll see where we go from there. Yeah. The uh, it's market, man, up oh, two sixty now. Yeah. We're at session highs almost yeah. as we speak. Right. And if you take a look at this, you know, there's still no, no, no juice, but uh, bottom line Thursday, this this market can stay up there. We're up like eight. SPY points, 80 S&P points from that low. Right. Um, it's been quite a week in both directions. Just like that. Yeah. And if we go look at the trend, let's see what we got here. So, see what kind of buy-in we have. You're, now, that's what you actually like to see. See, 0.98 means that all the, the NYSE stocks, everyone's getting enough. Y'all getting some, I'm getting some. Okay. A one, I don't know what that means, everybody getting enough. A one, a one means that there's buying right across the board, a, a one. One means, you know, all the NYSE stocks, it's an even split. It's not like everyone's buying Walmart and they're not buying something else. Okay. Stay right there, folks. We have um, uh, Fast Market coming up next. And I'm at Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wham! Go get them, folks.